Oh, oh but I don't bust my head open on one of these rocks. Oh, but I keep trying to find rocks to wedge my foot into. Guys, it's hard to record right here just because it's so damn slippery. I'm out here trying to. What's up everybody, Eric here. So I am in Salt Lake City, Utah, and it is currently 7 a.m. Uh, in just a few moments, I'm gonna walk over to the car rental place to pick up a car. Today I'm going hiking at Lake Blanche Trail. Um, supposed to be about a seven mile hike. Um, I've never done anything like this, but since I've been here in Utah, everyone that I've talked to have told me one thing people like to do when they come out here is hike up all the various trails that they have. So I picked one today and hopefully it's a good one. It's Friday. Thank God, little homie, it's Friday. Let me get it, get it on a Friday. Thank God, little homie, it's Friday. Yeah. Hey everybody, so I got the car rental and guess what? Enterprise upgraded me for free. So I got me a Mini Cooper here. Never drove one, but you have no clue how excited I am about this. Uh, when I was a child, my very, very, very first car was a convertible. It was a uh, Dodge Shadow. I missed that thing dearly, loved it to death. I ran it into the ground. Uh, but this one, we're gonna take good care of this one. Uh, we're gonna head up the mountain, go down to the Lake Blanche Trail and begin our hike today. So, see you there. Hey everybody, so I just finished making the drive up here. I'm at the beginning of the trail. I got my little uh, hat on because it is a little bit colder as you get closer to the top. Um, a lot of elevation. Uh, driving up here, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it was beautiful, worth the experience. The smell, amazing. I'm looking at all the rocks and trees around me and I've never done anything like this, so this is really cool to me. Um, so far, definitely something I would recommend you guys do is come check out one of these trails if you come to Salt Lake. Again, if you are not an experienced driver, or if you're not a confident driver, this may be a drive that you may feel a little bit eerie about doing because there's a lot of bends, turns, sharp turns, and you never know uh, if on, on uh, coming traffic is coming around the corner. Um, so something I like to point out, you can definitely Uber up here, um, but if you love to drive and you are a confident driver, it's definitely something you can easily make. But uh, we're gonna get this trip started, get the hike started, and I'm gonna start heading up the trail, guys. I'll see you up there. Hey everybody, so I, I know the hike just started and I'm interrupting already, um, but I just realized something. This, this ain't no normal hike, right? Like for me, this ain't no normal hike. So, you know, I'm walking up the hill. I'm thinking the whole time, we're gonna have like little pavement all the way to the top. No, they want me to dip off in this direction of these rocks. So now I'm feeling a little bit ill-prepared for what I came up here to do. Um, I, I just feel ill-prepared. Um, just pray for me, that's all I ask. Just, just, just pray for me, pray for me.
All right, guys. I saw that little rock formation up there that I gotta climb up. And I decided it's time to take a water break. I got about an hour and 18 according to Google Maps of walking left. <laughs> Crazy, right? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna bust open our snack bag right now. Let's do this. Bought me a little sandwich thingy. I ate half of it as I was walking up the hill because I realized I didn't eat breakfast until I got here. So I already ate half of one of my sandwiches. Got my barbecue chips and another sandwich. Uh, so should be enough food to go up and come back down. Um, I should have some more food when I, or I'll eat more food when I get to the top. Uh, hopefully an hour of walking, I won't need anything from now until then. Um, I'm gonna be honest, this is, this is, this is tiring. This is very tiring. Again, I'm not a hiker. I'm not a runner. I hate going to the gym with my little brother. Cause every time we go to the gym, he wants to hop on the treadmill and I am not the treadmill guy. I'm actually tired. Like this, this is genuine, guys. Oh shoot. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm genuinely tired right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Back up the hill. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. So I ran into a gentleman making my way up, and uh, he's from here. And he's going up. He said he probably won't make it to the top. Uh, he has to go get his kids later. But he shared a little bit with me. Uh, he saw me down there pleading to Jesus. And he told me that uh, it's the altitude kicking my butt right now because I'm not used to this. Um, and even him, he's sweating and all that. Being used to the altitude up here. But oh, it's, it's definitely kicking my butt. So, I'm sweating. I keep wiping myself down. Um, he told me when I get to the top, just be prepared because it is cold up there. He said the last time he hiked to the top, it was in June. And he said it was cold in June. So, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to the cold part. But he told me it's worth it. He told me don't quit. He told me don't give in. So, I'm not going to give in. All right, everybody, so I got about 45 minutes to go before I get to where I'm trying to get to on this hill, on this mountain. Um, but as we get to the top, as you can see, ice is starting to form or trying, starting to settle. Um, so I'm at that point. The, uh, the uh, tips of my fingers are cold. I've had to stop several times just to catch my breath. So it's taking me longer than normal. One, because I'm filming. And then two, I'm tired. <laughs> I am legit tired. I've probably said that about a thousand times in this video. Um, but yeah, this, this, is, this is a lot of work. Um, I'm still pushing up. I haven't seen any people in a while. Uh, I'd say probably about 15, 20 minutes ago was the last time I saw somebody. <sighs> I'm feeling so high love. Don't you know? And don't you know? I'm living in shadow. 
fell for fools Gold, I fell for fools Gold, what did I know? What did I know? I fell for fools Gold, I fell for fools Oh, but I don't bust my head open on one of these rocks Ugh. But I keep trying to find rocks to wedge my foot into it's hard to record right here just because it's so damn slippery I'm out here trying to okay I don't know how much more of this I'm gonna record before we get to the top so I apologize <laughs> but I gotta I gotta be safe so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop here for a second catch my breath I'm going to throw my camera in my bag. I'm gonna keep pushing through. I'm gonna keep pushing through. I haven't seen anybody in a while. Oh, all right. <sighs> so, this 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 might be the last time I check in with you guys before I get to the top. I will get to the top. All right, guys, signing out. Whew. All right, guys, this is it. Just past this here is gonna be the lake. We've reached our destination. <laughs> About 10 minutes ago, I caught the worst Charlie horse on my leg, and I thought I was gonna give up and start heading back down. I was able to stretch it out, but Oh, enough about that. You guys wanna go peek over here and check this out with me really quick? Oh man. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. And this is the lake. Oh. Wow, this is just... This is beautiful. Oh, I do not regret doing this. Oh. <sighs> All right, guys. <sighs> we did it. I'm gonna take a few pictures, a couple more shots while I'm out here. Uh, just to kind of show you guys how beautiful it is. I'm gonna start heading back down because I want to get to the bottom before sunset. A uh, gentleman that I talked to, he's done this 90 times, uh, told me that him, it'll take him an hour and a half to get back down. He said, for me, never doing elevation before, uh, about two, two and a half hours. So, we're shooting for three. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Uh, again, thank you guys for joining me on this journey. <laughs> you know what? It's time to throw some drone shots on you guys now. You know, I might complain up this hill, but it's not nothing. It really ain't nothing when you put things into perspective. Just a few days ago, we buried uh, my baby cousin. 10 years younger than me, yo. And uh, he was uh, fighting cancer. And when you put things into perspective, you know, everyone, Everyone refers to him as a warrior. That was the theme. Everyone, everyone talked about how he was a warrior, how he fought. He himself mentioned that uh, even though it had his body, it didn't have his mind. And when you look at things like that, stuff like this, it ain't nothing. 
this ain't nothing compared to what some people have to go through every day. The fact that I'm blessed to be able to walk up this mountain, to try to walk up this mountain, I'm grateful. I'm gonna give it my best. <laughs> and I'm gonna complain the whole way through, but when you put it in perspective, this ain't nothing. <laughs>